Pokemaniacs rejoice! The upcoming installments of your favorite franchise are set to take the DS by storm in the form of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. As is typical for the franchise, these two new outings stay very close to the formula laid down by prior games in the series. Once again, you play as a young Pokemon trainer who traverses countrysides, caves, cities, and even oceans, collecting pocket monsters, or Pokemon as they're better known. The overall objective is to battle other trainers in an effort to become the best in the Sinnoh region, a brand new land for the series. Your arch nemesis is the nefarious Team Galactic, but Team Galactic doesn't just want to capture any old Pokemon. They're after two in particular that will give them the ability to shift time and distort space. So the race is on. There are still the five basic different types of Pokemon to collect. Grass, water, fire, ice, and electric, with modifiers like flying or steel types. Fights play out like animated rock, paper, scissors battles, where water Pokemon always trump fire Pokemon, fire trumps grass, and so on. Learning how to expose each Pokemon's weakness is almost always the key to victory. At the outset, you're asked to choose whether you want your character to be male or female before setting off to catch them all. There are 107 all-new Pokemon to collect, as well as 25 fan favorites from past games in the series. You can also plug in any of the Game Boy Advance Pokemon games into the slot on the DS and import any of those critters as well. Also making a return from Pokemon Gold and Silver is the Day and Night Cycle and Day of the Week, which can affect which Pokemon types you'll likely run into in the wild. The game actually keeps track of time via the DS's internal clock, so if it's 6 o'clock and the sun is setting outside, the sun will be setting in the game as well. Once in a while, when you arrive in a new town or city, you may find that there's a Pokemon Gym in town, where the gym leader must be defeated. These battles act as boss fights for you to finish before moving the story forward. While walking around, you'll be attacked either at random by wild Pokemon, which you can capture with Pokeballs, or by other trainers looking for a challenge. The gameplay hasn't changed all that much, allowing you to choose from your stable of adorable killers before each fight. Once the fight is on, you can choose from your Pokemon's abilities like attacking, stunning your enemies, weakening your enemy to a particular attack, using healing items, or swapping out Pokemon on the fly. Both games take full advantage of the DS's Wi-Fi abilities, allowing you to challenge other Pokemon trainers with copies of the game across the internet, or just to trade your Pokemon from your version with someone else who has the opposite version to help you complete your collection. You can also export the Pokemon you capture to Pokemon Battle Revolution for the Wii, and take up the battle in full 3D, both online and off. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl are looking to maintain the status quo, which should keep hardcore fans of the series placated for another year. There aren't a lot of tweaks to the formula, but with a brand new land to explore and plenty of ways to transfer, trade, and upgrade Pokemon, it should have plenty of staying power. Look for our full review when the game hits stores this spring.